Will and would are used for making requests, but which one should you use, and how should you use them? Let's look at three examples. So, firstly,、um, will you help? A very standard way of making a request. That could be changed to "Would you help?", which is considered a bit more polite than using "Will." Or you could use a sentence form: "I would be grateful if you could help," and that's the most polite of all. Why is that? Well, it's because of something called distancing, and the concept of distancing is outlined below. So, in distancing, we create space between the person making the request and the hearer of the request. This makes it more polite, and we can do it in the following ways. So, we can use a past tense instead of the present tense, which makes the request appear less immediate. We could use words associated with hypothetical situations. So, would is a classic. Hypothetical word, and this makes the request seem less fixed and more, therefore more acceptable to turn down. And finally, if you use sentence form rather than question form, this makes the request less direct. A question is much more direct, expecting an instant answer. A sentence is not like that. And by creating a mental sense of distance between the speaker. And the receiver, you make the request more polite. You make it easier for the person receiving it to hear it, easier for them to turn down. It's more friendly. It's more formal. And this is a concept that's used in many ways in English. So remember, if you want to make a really polite request, use the sentence form. Use would, will. Would as questions are both still good for making requests. Just be aware of the difference in meaning in the choices given here. If you liked this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel to get all of the latest videos, or click the video in the corner for the next one in the series.